guys, we are here at Project M1, and we are about to head in and give you guys a chance to test out some of the prototype Heritage Labs products. Let's go have a look. You guys are going to be the first to take a sneak peek, uh, look at some of the Heretic Labs prototypes. What if we threw out everything that we know about Airsoft in terms of like what an Airsoft gun has to look like, what it should be, all that kind of stuff, and we said, okay, screw it, let's go as hard as we can in the other direction and create a totally performance and style driven set of products focused on the Speedsoft market. And that is where Heretic Labs was born. This is a CNC billet machine to drop stock. It will work with an AG or an MPW. This is a tank grip. It works with our brand new Category 5 regulator. The regulator attaches in here. You have a door that, uh, that pops off so you can access your battery. This started its life based on the MTW platform, but it's been changed a lot since then. <laughs> this is actually closer to what we're going to launch with, minus the grid. Short barrel, buffer tube delete, lower receiver, your upper receiver, all fully skeletonized, all sort of limited release base. We may or may not ever do another run of Article 1. Because of the platform it's built on, the customization options are totally endless. Mm -hmm. The barrel by themselves are amazing standalone products. Like, yeah, these are cool. I like how light they are. Yeah. Just I, I especially just love this one running the seal. But with like, for like yeah. the SpeakyV community, the Jungle Ball, the fast kids, they're gonna want these. Because you have to pretty much build an entire gun by yourself right now. Right. Um, you have to buy the Euro grip, you have to buy the tank, you have to like. You have to find a system you want to Yeah, find a and system. And to find like a receiver set like that, you have to go like buy like a retro arms yeah, one yeah, to be that like light. So, yeah, I can see a lot of people running with these. 